What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision and today we're going to talk about collimation. We get a lot of questions about what is collimation and why is it important so I'd like to kind of put together a, a video that's kind of straight to the point. I don't want to get too complicated and go over everybody's head but essentially collimation is the practice of aligning the optical axis of two image intensifier tubes onto the same point somewhere in infinity. So what I have behind me is a Hoffman. This machine is used to do a myriad of things, but we use it mostly to collimate goggles. Each housing and each tube have a varying degree of uh, image alignment offset. So the bore tolerances that are machined within them vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, from unit to unit. And the actual uh, image offset inside of the image intensifier will vary from tube to tube. Uh, to, to correct this, most goggles or most commercially available goggles will use a PVS-14 style eyepiece. And each one of these eyepieces has a lens cell inside of it with an offset built into it. What that allows you to do is to turn this eyepiece set with the diopter set to zero. You put the binocular on this machine and you can turn the eyepiece until a crosshair or two crosshairs intersect and overlap one, one another. And th this will actually happen at two, two different places, but each uh, pod will have essentially a optical center line that will rotate in a circle on top of an image inside of this machine. And you want those two to intersect and you need to find the, the optimal point of intersection. The best place to leave the eyepiece is set is when those two circles intersect at the point closest to bore sided or the center of the perceived image that you're receiving through the eyepiece. Uh, basically, in layman's terms, uh, you have two laser beams that shoot through these tubes and land somewhere in infinity. You want to find the place where those images will overlap through your vision. Uh, improperly collimated goggles can lead to, um, you know, a whole host of issues. Most generally, eye strain is going to be apparent if you have a goggle that's out of collimation. I've seen some that were so far out of collimation they were unusable. You can actually test whether or not your goggles are collimated at home by simply picking a very finite point of focus off somewhere in the distance and flipping your night vision in front of your face without, you know, trying to manually correct your vision too much if you're getting double vision or what you're seeing isn't very clear immediately then you may have an issue with collimation you may also have an issue with your diopter set setting so make sure the diopter is properly set for your eye before you try to do this test usually um, if you can't quickly resolve the images when you put the night vision in front of your face you may have a, a collimation issue so uh, in a minute, we're gonna kind of go through what this looks like to the builder, um, the kind of feedback the machine gives us and, and the different changes we're gonna make to achieve proper collimation. Okay, so we're over here. We've got a um, 1431 mocked up on the Hoffman. This is a, a ANV126A. It is calibrated annually. Uh, it's, you know, up up to calibration currently and we're going to demonstrate kind of what the technician sees when he collimates goggles he or she excuse me um, right now we can see that these two images are not properly uh, aligning or overlapping so each one of these images think of them like a crosshair on like a um, like a shooting target so what I'm doing is I'm rotating the body of the eyepiece and because there is an offset built into that eyepiece, I'm adjusting the image shift. So I'm trying to find a place that these two images overlap that is close to what we would consider bore sided. When I say bore sided, I mean the center of the center of these two circles. So 
So now those two crosshairs are perfectly overlapping each other. The standard for collimation is basically the lower crosshair inside of the small box. To meet mil spec, it doesn't have to be this perfect, but a responsible um, night vision builder or technician will always find a place uh, as close to this as possible. Some housings, this is not really a possibility without the shimming of the tubes because the bore tolerances are too loose and the images will be offset too far apart. In those cases, we will either shim the tubes or find a way to get them as close as possible. Um, usually I verify this by actually using them to make sure it is acceptable. If I can't get an exact image over image or crosshair on top of crosshair collimation. So this is just an example of what we look for that when we collimate every goggle here at Custom Night Vision. Uh, this is what is our standard. I don't really like to see with certain housings, the closest you can get to collimated is something that looks like that. In which case, again, we would shim the tubes and bring these images closer to alignment. So that's a down and dirty explanation of what collimation is and why is, it is important. If you have any further questions or want to ask anything more in depth, go ahead and contact us. Uh, put a, uh, a question in the comments. We respond pretty quickly and we appreciate your time. Thanks. Have a great day.